Hey there, fellas. In a previous episode, we took this here car and covered it with some brilliant green. We got a pretty nice look going. But you see, we've ran into a slight situation here. Take a look at what the green dye has done to the paint. We had a bit of rain and maybe some fog or dew came in contact with the car, which of course washed away a lot of the dye. This isn't a pretty picture. And so we've decided to refresh it a bit, to get this whip looking nice and sharp. We'll be giving it a paint job. Here's the paint we'll be using for the purpose. However, we're not going to be using a roller or a paint gun or something else along those lines. For this respray, we've purchased this here pressure washer. And now there's the matter of somehow putting together a container we could pour the paint into. Then we'll need to feed that to the washer and paint the car using the spray gun. This should be pretty frickin' epic. But first we have to prep the car. Wash all of this off somehow. I mean the green dye. We did buy some blue paint after all. We're gonna be coloring this car blue. We very well might see runny paint and poor coverage, but that's going to remain an unknown until we take this paint gun and start painting the car. Alright, let's do this. Can you paint a car using a pressure washer? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Right, we're not getting anywhere with washing the car. Eh, whatever. I guess now we dry it off, mask the windows and everything else you typically cover during prep. We also still need to prepare the equipment. We'll be fine. We'll get everything ready and paint the car blue. Let's get to it. So here is what we need to do. Right here I've got myself a canister. This is where we're going to be pouring the paint. But here's the problem. The flow rate on these pressure washers is typically around 6 to 7 liters per minute. This particular unit is rated at 5.5 liters. And in our case, we're talking paint, not water. This means we'll have just one minute to paint the entire car. Which isn't exactly going to be an easy thing to accomplish. But I reckon we can actually make this work and make do with such a small amount. We've got just two of these cans, each of which contains about 2.7 kilos worth of paint. So obviously even just two cans would be more than enough to paint one or even two cars when using a paint gun. You might even have enough left to do a third one. Right, I guess we start by pouring all of this into the canister. We'll throw a bit of reducer into the mix. And then, in order to get the paint into the machine, we'll need to create a bit of pressure in here. This washer isn't equipped with its own pump, which is why we'll take a piece of hose and some fittings, stick it all on here, and slap on this valve stem, so that we can slowly feed compressed air into this canister, increasing the internal pressure. That way we'll be able to squeeze the paint into the machine. All we need is just a tiny bit of pressure, pretty much the same as you'd get with gravity flow, but with a bit of positive pressure. Right, let's go ahead and piece it all together and see how it works. Right, so the paint is ready. We've mixed it, 
be honest, it still looks a bit thick. It'd work okay with a paint gun. Alright, so 200 grams per panel? Yeah? Well, except for the roof. We looking good? Go ahead and flip it on. Okay, let's get this party started. Wait. Wait a minute. Let's try it this way. Now we're talking. Excellent. It's barely even running. Okay. We are making quick work of this. Though at the very end, the paint does start dripping from the nozzle. Let's move over here. The world's fastest paint job, am I right? Yeah, it does seem to be the fastest paint job. Oop, rub the hose on the paint. We're almost out of paint. Wait, what do you mean we're almost out? That doesn't sound right. Hurry up, man. I'm going as fast as I can. Hold up, man. That's it. Let's add a bit more and do the roof. We didn't get the entire roof. The quickest paint job you can do. Like lightning fast. It's all looking good. Spectacular. Though it's running like crazy. At least we have a thick layer. Awesome. Right, try not to drip all over it. Oh, sweet. This will do. No, what? That's it, we're done. Right, fellas, so here's the situation. I guess you can call this the quickest possible paint job. I'm pretty sure that no robot could fully smother a car this fast. Here we are using a pressure washer. And we got the job done easily. We did suspect that the paint wouldn't flow through the washer, that something would have seized up or failed. There were a ton of things here that could have gone horribly wrong. But as a matter of fact, everything went beautifully. Although we did see a ton of paint dripping from the nozzle. Though it really isn't that big of a deal. Especially when you're talking this sort of quality. Okay, fellas, everything is looking good. We finished painting the car, unmasking it. As in, we removed the tape, the film, the masking paper. And here's what we're looking at. It turns out you can actually paint a car using a pressure washer. Well, if you don't mind the quality. I mean, then again, it isn't that bad. It's actually pretty nice. You see, our goal was to check whether you can even put paint through the pressure washer. And you can, as a matter of fact. This actually went brilliantly. And that's all I have for you. You guys watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.